Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about predicting wind. This is going to be a several part series because I want to keep each section fairly short so that you don't get too bored. This first section today is going to be about the websites that I use, how I set them up on my computer. And then later on, we'll get into the details of analyzing each one of those websites so that you can get more sessions on smaller size sails and kites and have more fun. Keep in mind that I am not a professional meteorologist and I'm only wearing this suit and tie to make me look smarter than I actually am. In fact, I'm not even wearing the pants that go with this suit. So make sure you check with a professional meteorologist before you trust anything that I say. This is for entertainment purposes only and I'm just going to tell you what I do to help me get more sessions on the water. So with that being said, we're going to head over to the computer and we're going to take a look at some of the websites that I use. See you at the computer. So I have 12 tabs open on my computer at all times and they're organized here under my favorites. I put them under weather and these first 12, you can see them uh, starting with iWindsurf and coming down here to the COD Meteorology Cloud Cover. Those are the 12 that I have open all the time. The quickest way to do this is if you hold down the control key, then you can click on each one without having to go through individually and open each one. You can just keep going down. So I'm going to try and teach you here how to be a little bit more efficient uh, with your wind predicting. Now, once you have these tabs open, there's even a quicker way to set this up so that the next time you open your computer, they all come up at once. So if you're using Google Chrome on the right over here, click on these three dots and then you'll see settings. So go down here to settings. And if you go down to settings, then you can scroll down and you'll find this section here that says on startup. So this means on startup of Chrome, click open a specific set of pages. And then down at the very bottom, you can click on use current pages. So what that will do is every time you open Chrome, I'm going to do it right now. So I'm just going to click down here at the bottom and open Chrome. All 12 of those websites are going to open at the same time. It's going to make it a lot quicker for you, a lot easier. You won't have to open the tab separately each time. So let's go through real briefly what these are. And in the comments section down below, I am going to put a link to my website where all 12 of these tabs, all 12 of these websites will be linked so that you can find all of them and then you can go and set them up in your favorites. So the first one we have is iWindsurf. The second one we have here is windy.com. The third one is predict wind. The fourth one is I get wind. The fifth one is the National Weather Service hourly graph for Buffalo. Then the next one is for Tonawanda where I live. The next one is for Alcott. Then we get into wind finder for the Buffalo area. I have wind finder for the Alcott area, which is where I ride on Lake Ontario. Then we get into the uh, radar, so you can see what the radar is doing. And then this gets into the Weather Prediction Center at the National Weather Service to see the fronts, the cold fronts and the warm fronts. And then lastly, we have cloud cover. So those are the 12 tabs, the 12 websites that I keep open on my computer all the time, all day long, every day, in that order. And I go through each tab. If you go through each tab, then you can't fail at predicting when through the system that I use. I also do the same thing on my cell phone, on my smartphone. I organize the pages so that I have these apps or websites on the pages of my Android. That's the system that I use. And again, if you have them in order, it forces you to go through each one so that you don't miss anything. You don't want to miss anything when you're forecasting the wind. So use these 12 websites, put them in this order. And again, I'm going to put the link to all 12 of these uh, websites in the comment sections below. That way you can go and you can add them to your own favorites. Okay, we'll do the next part in a couple days.